Hey y'all, today we're gonna make some chicken and dumplings in the crock pot. Now we're gonna start out by getting our little vegetables all prepped up and I've just got two stalks of celery and I don't like real big pieces of celery so I like to kind of run my knife down there and cut them into little thin strips or thinner strips and then just go ahead and chop them up, you know, pretty small. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dice up an onion too. Now I found this recipe on the old TikTok y'all I think it was Mississippi Queen is the one that I saw this on, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this because, you know, chicken and dumplings is kind of an art, you know, trying to get the perfect dumpling, you know, that's, you, you got to work at that. You got to, you got to put some work in if you want to get a good dumpling, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a try. You know, I've made chicken and dumplings and I've tried the canned biscuits before and they kind of turned out gummy. And so I was a little nervous, but spoiler alert, y'all, these turn out really, really good. So anyway, let's, let's make them. Y'all want to make them? Let's make them. So you go ahead and get your celery and your onion, uh, onion, Lord, y'all know I can't never talk. Your celery and your onion all chopped up. And then you wash your chicken. <laughs> if that's your preference, y'all know I washed mine. And then I trim it up. I get all that fat and gristle and little hunks of bone off of there. And then you're just going to want to chop these into bite-sized pieces. And I think I had like four chicken breasts. And you just want them in, you know, pieces that you're going to be able to just bite into. You don't want a big humongous hunk of chicken, you know, in your chicken and dumplings. At least I don't. So go ahead and just get your chicken all cubed up just you know whatever size little bite size pieces you want and then once we get that done we're going to add to our crock pot one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of celery soup and then we're going to add one 32 ounce container of chicken broth plus one cup so if you don't have anything but this big container, then make you some bouillon, you know, boil you some water, put your bouillon cube in there, make you a cup of broth or whatever. I had an extra, you know, container. So I just went ahead and poured me a cup of that in there. So however you get it, 32 ounces plus one cup, that's what we need. So then you're going to go ahead and just kind of stir that up real good. Get the soups all good and mixed in. And then you're going to go ahead and just add your chicken right over into your crock pot. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our little vegetables, our little onion and celery. Get them all out the bowl. Y'all don't leave no man left behind. And then I just like to go ahead and stir it up. And that way the chicken's not like clumped up in there together. You know, it's kind of all spread out. And then we're gonna put a little bit of seasoning on there. So I just did a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And I was so excited when I saw the Tonys that she put in hers. Cause honey, y'all know I was gonna put some Tonys in mine. So a little Creole seasoning, a little, little Cajun seasoning, whatever you use. And then just a little bit of thyme. And I had the, um, I don't, it wasn't like the, I don't know, it was the real fine, you know, kind of like garlic powder and stuff. But anyway, that's what I had, so that's what I used. So just go ahead and get that all good and stirred up. And then let that cook on high for about four hours. So once your four hours are just about up, you're going to go ahead and take two cans of the Grand's Flaky Layer Biscuits. And we're going to cut those up into quarters. And that's what we're going to use for our dumplings. Now, I know I said at the beginning of this, I had made dumplings with canned biscuits before. They just really didn't turn out good. So, I don't know if it was user error years and years ago on my part. Or, if the fact that these are the layer biscuits, maybe they cook a little differently and they don't get quite as gummy as like a regular biscuit would. So, I don't know what the difference was, but... It definitely works, so I do recommend use the flaky layer biscuits when you make these, okay? So, like I said, you're just going to go ahead and get these cut into quarters, and then just go ahead and pull them apart, because you don't want huge clumps of dumplings. I mean, you're kind of going to get that if you've ever cooked chicken and dumplings anyway, but 
do the best you can to kind of separate the little pieces out and that way you'll kind of get you some individual dumplings and they do come out like i said really good y'all and they do come out you know in separate dumplings so they don't all clump into one big old clump like you would think so then once you're like i said once your four hours is up you're going to go ahead take your lid off your crock pot stir it around a little bit and another thing i will tell y'all and you're going to see this in a minute my little mistake you know do as i say not as i do i should have sprayed my crock pot i did not spray any cooking spray on the inside of my crock pot and i should have because i get a little stickage in a minute y'all but didn't change anything didn't hurt anything but i'm just telling y'all spray your crock pot okay save yourself some trouble so just go ahead and add all your little biscuits right over into your crock pot and like i said kind of try to separate them as best you can i mean they're all going to be right there clumped together but just do the best you can so once we get that in there we're going to put a little bit more season now don't stir those okay don't stir them then I put just a tiny bit more salt. And be careful with your salt, y'all, because you got a lot of chicken broth and a lot of cream soups in here. So just be careful with that. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit more thyme, and of course, a little bit more Tony's right over the top. Then we're going to put the lid back on this, leave it on high, and cook it for another hour and a half. After an hour and a half, this is what you're going to look like. And honey, they puffed up. I should have showed y'all a side view of this. They were almost touching the lid of the crock pot. They were full. Now, see right there where I was telling y'all spray your crock pot? Yeah, up there around the top edges, my biscuits stuck a little bit, y'all. Now, it was fine. I was able to pull them down and get them all stirred in and everything. But just save you, like I said, save yourself a little bit of headache and just spray your crock pot before you start this process so once you get them stirred around put the lid back on cook them on low for another 30 minutes and that's it y'all that's it for this recipe easy easy chicken and dumplings right in the crock pot and they are so good the flavor is really really good the biscuits they're the or the dumpling part is light and fluffy and you see how big they are, but they were not gummy at all. They had a great texture and a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful flavor. So if you are brave <laughs> and you trust me just a little bit, try this chicken and dumpling recipe because I do not think you're going to be disappointed. Everybody loved these. So make them, make them and let me know how you like them. So I'm going to put y'all another video over here and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.